Here's an example of a simple sound level meter using the Arduino sound sensor module. At the moment, it's quiet, intensity is low. However, on my phone, I have a sound generator app and we can use that to increase the volume and see what sound levels we can get. So as I move the phone nearer, we can see it changes to medium, and then if I get really close, up to high. That's better. Now those numbers are not in decibels or anything accurate, it's just low, medium and high indication that we can set in a program. Before we can get into these sorts of kits, we need to understand how the sound module works at a basic level. So let's move over and look at the Eligu example. Here in the Eligu documentation, we can see the description of the sound sensor module. We know that it has an analog output as well as a digital output. We can view either the voltage signal coming from the microphone or we can set a threshold by means of turning the potentiometer here so that the digital output comes on at a certain volume. This is a multi-turn potentiometer and you may need to turn it many times for it to respond. All that we need is the module itself and of course the UNO and a few wires. There follows a description which you can read through on how the little microphone works, a circuit diagram showing the operational amplifier on the sound module itself. It only needs four connections, the analog output, which is here, which goes to the analog input, and the digital output, which goes to a digital input on the Arduino. The other two connections just being plus five and ground. That is what it looks like in the documentation. Here we can see it in reality. There's an adjustment that needs to be done with this potentiometer. We turn it until the LED2 here uh, just goes out or, or starts to flicker with the, with the sound. To help with the setting of that, it's useful to take a look at the sketch. There's a good description at the top of the sketch here, which says that the LED2 should be adjusted until it's around 500. The sketch itself is very simple, just defining the analog and digital pins an integer to store the value and defining the LED on the Arduino setup very simply sets the pin modes for the inputs and the LED output and in the loop it gets the values from the board and prints them out and that's all there is to the sketch if we now use the tools and the serial monitor we can see here the analog value coming from the sound module if we start to adjust the potentiometer you can see the value going up there into the 300s. Now as we're approaching 500, we can see the LED just dimming there. And if we continue, it goes all the way out with a reading of around 560. We back that off a bit until the LED just starts to glow. So I think we want to be in that sort of region there. We can look at this also using the serial plotter and in the serial plotter as you can see as I'm speaking we have a visualization of the speech. If we wait until it gets to the end of the first scan it automatically adjusts the scale for the, the best fit. Now we can see the analog representation. A very simple indeed.